Hello and welcome here to Ratchet and Clank, one of my favourite game franchises from the PlayStation 2 era of, uh, of games. Uh, now this is going to be a brand new playthrough for the channel, uh, but it is um, something that I've already played before. So I'm going to go through, I know that the Ratchet and Clank series is, is big, but I'm only going to go through the ones that I've played, so the first three. With that being said, let's get started. Final step, attach robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. Gadgetron Help Desk. We are here to offer you advice during your interplanetary travels. The Help Desk is a free service provided by Gadgetron Corporation. Yeah, sure thing. Alright, so that's just the volume on my end a little bit because it is very, very loud. Uh, right, so yes, here we are. Ration Clank 1. The game that started it all. Now, I have to say that, like, uh, in the places from one era, I was super into, like, Crash Bandicoot. One, two, and three. I also played a fair share of, like, um, Team Racing as well. But when it came to the PlayStation 2's time, this is the one that captured me. I, I was not... I knew of the Jack and Daxter series, but, um, yes, a lot of these franchises did the, the buddy team-up thing. So Russian Clank, Jack and Daxter, I'm pretty sure there's a few others. Who could that be? That handsome man right there on that poster. Um, something else, I'm just going to change the controls a little bit because the camera is inverted. So, yes, let's not be having that. Ah, yes, much better cameras. Um, interestingly enough, you can use the D-pad as well to move Ratchet. So, I'm Ratchet. The robot over there is Clank. And uh, it's a platformer adventure game, as you can see. Uh, Clank must have seen something on that uh, robot, and he's uh, he's crash landed here after being shot down. I wonder what's going on. Let's find out, shall we? Yes. Yeah, it's interesting because this is um, from Insomniac Games, but they are very closely linked to Naughty Dog. I believe Mark Cerny was like a consultant for both Naughty Dog and Insomniac. So they have like, kind of, for me, both studios have kind of similar feels to like their games. 
Well, the the platform games, not so much like um because I know I know Spider-Man games now are made by Insomniac, which I've not played yet. And um You can interrupt help desk messages by pressing Just like that, by pressing the triangle. Uh yeah, so I know that like Naughty Dog are known for like Uncharted now and um, The Last of Us is their big one, isn't it? But back in like the platform era, like it was a natural progression to go from um, Crash Bandicoot to Ratchet and Clank. It's funny because I've went back to the Insomniac's original like trilogy, as it were, with Spyro games, and uh, they were fun, they were entertaining, but they weren't as good as this this franchise. I reckon Ratchet and Clank is the best, the absolute best of all the PlayStation 2 platformers. <clears throat> I'm going to get around to playing the rest of the Jack and Daxter series. I will not be playing the um, the racing game one though. That's one that I decided not to. Yeah, this game. I don't know what it is, but it is very loud. Sound effects, music. I'll keep it as it is because I can just change it in the edit. Right, so this this game is kind of like really, really like a satire thing on consumerism. Pretty much, it's an econ an economy of like bolts and weapons. Pretty much. But as you can see right now, I have the wrench. I also have a bomb glove. Like the the first weapon that you get. Naturally, there's a little reticle there that basically says, "Hey, if you hit a circle, you're gonna throw the bomb here." You can take them out in one hit, pretty much. Just like that. Gadgetron uh, boxes, the G there, will give you your ammo back. Or fill you up with more. Ah, you moved along. Use your arm button, press the circle button to equip it, and the circle button again to fire it. You can also use it in first person by holding down the L1 button. Oh, so I can. Just like that. Alright, I've been looking forward to playing this game for a while. Very much so. Ooh, he's scarpered. Now, from what I recall, this is a franchise that actually increases in difficulty. So the the um, Crash Bandicoot series, I felt Crash Bandicoot One was the hardest, and then um, Crash Bandicoot Two was easy. Crash Bandicoot Three got easier. Whereas I feel like with the Ratchet and Clank stuff, maybe Ratchet and Clank Two is a little bit easier than One. One and Two, I feel like I'm on par with each other. I recall Ratchet and Clank Three being a, a little bit like tougher for some reason, but uh, we'll get to it when we get to it. Interesting. Yay! You're quite handy with your wrench. You bet. I built that ship with it. Hmm. Currently I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? 
Hello, citizens of... My race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Dreck, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas, but of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my- We're still on? Well, turn it off, you idiot! The people on those planets are hosed! Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this infobot, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. Deal. This could be a problem. Take care of it. Whoa, this is great! So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you can stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Please to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is V54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on! So you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous! I will not stand for this! Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you puny. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. Oh, oh. Clank? Where are you? Oh, sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. If there are any left. Oh yeah, here we are. Right. Um, right, so the worlds have like maps and stuff like that. We've got gadgets. We can buy new stuff, which I'm sure the game will get into. That's what I was looking for. I was like, what am I doing here? I'm trying to save the game. That's what. Right, four health, and we got a map, which, as you can see, will um, get filled out the more we go to places. Now, there's a few places that we can go to. Um, so yeah, this is the, the game is pretty much like partially open worldy. It's like choose your own adventure kind of thing. Um, and when we get into it, you can choose like which planets and which order you want to go 
and do them in. Right, right now, Clank has no real abilities, it's just a backpack for me. Let's see what the Gravitron has to say. Hi there, Fuzzball. Yeah, I can't buy it, it's too much. It's too much! Uh, let's go this way. There's, a, there's also like golden bolts and stuff like that in this game that I probably won't be getting. Just Push throwing that out there. Push the X button to rise. Push the X button harder to rise more quickly. Alright. It's kind of pittance. The stuff down there. And then we just do this. I wonder if it's the HD. So I'm playing the HD version here. It is, no joke, very goddamn loud. It's not exactly who I threw it at, but sure, I'll take it. If you die off a ledge, it would seem the bolts automatically just zip to you. But yeah, as uh, Ratchet and Clank were saying, we're stranded on this world now. So we're going to have to find a way off it. Oh, we can actually destroy that as well, huh? You know what? I don't think I've got all the secrets in the Ratchet and Clank game. I call the Golden Bolts. I don't think I actually bothered doing it. I think with me, it's it's more so just like enjoying the experience of getting to the ending. I don't need to 100% game, so I I, I never 100%ed like Spyro or or the Crash Bandicoot games back in the day. The challenge is there if you want it. I personally just don't really don't really care too much about 100% in these games. I just as I said, I enjoy my time with them. And I think it's just between me and you, uh, viewer, uh, I think Chairman Drake might be a bad guy. I'm getting, getting a bit of a, a bad vibe from him. Almost like he's a baddie. Stealing all these parts of planets to make into his own planet. Some of them are destructible, some of them are not. That's destructible. First golden ball. Now I think it's more of an end game thing. If you get all of them, you unlock like the ability to buy golden weapons on a new game plus, I think. The golden weapons are just like so, for example, the bomb glove that I have right now would be like one that has a bit more ammo, but it would be more powerful bomb gloves. Something like that. You know. Of that kind of um, style. Oh yeah, the HD version, as you can see, it's a bit... I'm playing it because I, I, it's, it's like the one that's readily available to me. I do have the PlayStation 2 version of this game, but um, it's a bit glitched. Like the, the air icon is still on screen. <laughs> but uh, whatever. We are going to persevere. But it's funny. So I guess on the PlayStation 2 version, it that image of the air bubble because it's at the front of the screen in like the 3D makeup of the game. I guess they just move it to the side like that, but um, it's funny because it's constantly there now. You can't get rid of it. It's not that distracting. I can live with it. Can you live with it? I can live with it. 
And that was that. What was the purpose of that? It was just a nice... Go round, get a golden ball, and then obviously there's like things to do like uh, these two place these two question marks which are places of interest Ooh. right so I have to like find out where Captain Cork is sounds like a big hero to me maybe he's the ultimate hero of the game um, but I have to find him for Clank's sake and then Ratchet can go along his, on his merry way. Discovering more of the galaxy. The rogue, the scoundrel, the whippersnapper. Oh okay, yeah, something about Ratchet and Clank 1. I, I kind of prefer Ratchet's attitude in the first one. He's kind of... I mean, like... The characters do have arcs and stuff like that. I guess Clank doesn't really have an arc. Clank's always Clank. But Ratchet will have an arc in this game. But he's interested by the fact that he's not purely, like, good. Whereas, like, Crash Bandicoot is... Uh, Crash Bandicoot listens to Aku Aku and his sister Coco. And it's, like, literally, like, you need to save the day. Whereas Ratchet is kind of, like... Uh, he's a little bit... Not on the fence, but kind of indifferent. He's more... I guess he's kind of selfish. But it's just an interesting take on a hero. Because don't get me wrong, this is a hero's tale. One of the ultimate hero's tales in video games. Alright, needs to follow the water. And follow the water again. God damn, 2002 had some bangers. Huh. Another platformer would have been um, Super Mario Sunshine. And I guess it is a, a combo uh, game because you have uh, Mario and his, back, his water backpack that talks to him called Flood. Uh, but that's that's one, unfortunately, I couldn't get into it. I don't know. Like, Ratchet feels easier to control than Mario does in that game. You know? Anyways. Dad, blast it! <laughs> look, plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. All right, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking! The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this goddarn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. Did he just slide down a sewer pipe? Mayday, Mayday! This is the solar ship Radical. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close! Ah! Pipe down, I can't concentrate. Oh, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long, kid. Let's am scream! Eject! Eject! Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks! Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. <laughs> I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. Gadgetron Infobots give you coordinates for new planets. Now that you have the Infobot for Planet Iridia, you'll need to find a ship to get there. To enter look-around mode, 
press and hold the L1 button. Oh, the more you know. Yeah, it took me a while. Uh, I wasn't that fast when I was a kid growing up, but like skid marks, skid marks, come on. Come on now. And also, did he just jump down a sewer pipe? I think he did. But I think we should jump down as well. Alright, let's go for it. We have enough bolts for the um, flamethrower. Now, give me. Hi there, fuzzball. Alright. This looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It doesn't have a radical because it's a flamethrower. And we've searched all that area, so it's just down here. This as well. The um, coins, the bolts, they won't um, disappear. Oh, you can't. Can you quick change weapon? You can. We have to do is the double tap. Yeah, the double tap. Double tap dead. Bang. And he's gone. Yes, like with all platformers, there's stuff all around us. So there's like things like that. What could that be? So we'll be able to like come back to certain areas, do things, maybe like search out secret places that we can't get to in the first run of this level. Maybe there'll be some more golden bolts per level, who knows? It's something to uh, look out for. And yeah, I, um, I will say Ratchet and Clank 1 is the best, uh, yes, because like, again, it's like the hero's journey, but it's, a, it's got a bit of a different spin on the hero's journey, and um, well, you see as in folds, Clank's, uh, not Clank, uh, Ratchet's voice actor is a little bit different as well. Uh, Like it, it's a different guy in the other two games. I kind of prefer the way he is in the first one. He's a, uh, in a word, he's got a little bit more edge to him. Yeah, he has edge. Which the others are kind of like, just a bit too, like, I don't mind Ratchet and Ratchet, and Ratchet but yeah, Ratchet and Ratchet and Clank 2 and 3. I don't know why my brain just stopped then, it was just like, Wait, you stitch Ratchet or Clank who I'm playing? Uh, no, I'm playing Ratchet. Anyways, Ratchet in the next two games is a bit too just kind of like... He's not bland, but he's just a bit kind of like one note with the whole... I'm a hero, I need to save the day kind of deal. Whereas, I've already said, he's kind of not that in this one. He has a bit... he's got, he's got something to him. God, in-game cinematics. I 
this has a bit of an auto lock on. Huh. You can um, use the weapon wheel. But if you double tap it, I think it goes between your last two weapons that you've equipped. It is worth collecting bolts. Because you can buy new guns with bolts. Maybe you can buy new equipment as well. Who knows? Oh, looks like a secret over here, but can I get over there? There's actually nothing over there, I don't think. Well, so far so good. Alright. Eh, the bombs are better for this for these guys. Don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Oh, what are you? Mercenaries? Torturers? Assassins? I, I, I'll tell you anything. Here, take my infobot. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on, let's see what he's got. Has this ever happened to you? Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe me, there's nothing worse than stirring down a Blargian snaggle beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? You said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime, or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's RoboShack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's RoboShack, it's quarktastic! Do you know what this means? Yeah, Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. Uh, what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, as planetary chairman, and I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. Now that you have coordinates to two new planets, you can use your ship. Press the select button to bring up the map. Your ship is marked with a star. Or you can just hit the right analog stick. Right, so we've done everything that there is to do on this planet, it would seem. Right, so that was what I meant about, like, practically it's got something to him. He's just like, yeah, hold on a minute, let's see what he has. He might have stuff that we need. Whereas Clank has been, like, a bit of, like, a goody two-shoes. And man, that Captain Quark guy, he, he looks... That Captain Quark seems very cool to me. Um, yeah, also... Ratchet isn't a fanboy of Quark. He's like, yeah, Quark's a sellout. Um, so I have played the, I think it was 2016 Ratchet and Clank, like, reboot thing? Which was just, it was kind of like, really just naff, that game. It played alright, but it was kind of naff. And it was just like, definitely, like, you could see it was a movie tie-in game. Their main aim at that point was like, making the Spider-Man game good. But like, yeah, the, the 2016 Ratchet and Clank, uh, pretty shit in comparison to these originals. Right, let's get off this world. Ah, 
Ah, now we have it. You can go to two different worlds. You can choose it whichever way you want. I am just so happen, hap, happening to go to this one first. And here's another enjoyable feature. Now, you don't have like space combat or anything like that in this game. Uh, you will maybe get space combat in the others. Ooh. But um, I've always enjoyed like the... I know it's a loading screen, but it's a very good loading screen with like you flying through the galaxy. Anyways, let's see that in motion right now. Nice. Man, what a great loading screen. I love it. So good. I'm going to save after every level, I think. You can save it any time you want, essentially, but I think the end of a level should be pretty good. So we got like things that we can do here, there, and everywhere. Yeah. I'm playing it on the PlayStation 3 here, the HD upscale of the game. Um, because it looks prettier, admittedly. Uh, the PlayStation 2 versions it probably didn't have this, because like the audio mix in this is kind of... Yeah, questionable. Oh, look at that. I got some great bargains for you today. No new weapons. Interesting. Um... Yeah, it's a bit like it is totally clipping the mic. And is that skid mix marks? It's him, Skid McMarks. That man from the Infobot. In the flesh, little dude. You guys get a load of that epic space battle I was in? We saw ya screaming for help. Uh that was like a war cry. My agent and I got ambushed on the way to hoverboard practice. Did he survive the crash, sir? Yeah, he's okay, but I've had a little trouble getting back to my ship due to my sprained ankle. Oh, come on. If you can take out all the sand sharks, I just might have a spare hoverboard for you. We'd love to help you, Mr. McMarks, but Ratchet and I need to find Captain... Shh. One of your boards? Hmm. I've always wanted a decent hoverboard. Well, all right. You just keep that foot elevated. Yeah. Keep the foot elevated. Must destroy sand shockies. Oh, there's quite a few of them. There's the sand sh shark spawner. things to do all the time. Collect those bolts, y'all. It's important for later. Presuming your ship is over there, but we have to destroy the rest of the sand sharks. There's as it says, 38 of them, and 5 spawners. Yeah, the, the audio mix of this game's very, very questionable. It's like completely just clipping everything. I've already said that before, but it really is. It's uh, it's really, really loud. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be this loud. 
But I can fix things in the edit, like lower a few volume settings down here and there. It's no biggie. There's only a few more to go anyways. You can't even buy these. Well, I got a bail. Catch you dudes at the hoverboard races. You just acquired a Gadgetron Z3000 hoverboard. Use your new hoverboard at the racetrack in Blackwater City. Right, I will do. Give me these bolts. Ah, so I think you don't have to jump on these, you just have to walk into them. It's exactly what you think it is. TNT. Right, that was it for Skid McMarks. Unlike the Wampers, the bolts, because they're metal, they don't just blast away, they just stay where, like, the box is. Why, right, thank you. Now, we can go to the other side. I wonder if we have the right equipment for it, though. I think you can jump in that, like, three times. Twice on the third, you just think to your death because it's quicksand. Oh, interesting two shots, huh? Alright, two for you. Good to know. It's got a lock on. That's with the green goblin bombs. Out, ally! Bolts. I'll give me all your bolts. I've not been hit once yet, which is good. But I probably just jinxed myself. need a Gadgetron swing shot to traverse this area. Our records indicate that the swing shot is not available on this planet. Which it is not, so... Right, we need a slingshot, so we can't go that way and collect whatever that is. Okay. Okay. We're going back. This way. No, we can't drop down there, because it'd be bad if we did. Yeah, Super Mario Sunshine wasn't gelling as much as this game gels. Because this game freaking rocks, dude. And do that. There 
face. I don't think you take full damage. You can fall off edges, but I don't think you actually take full damage. Yeah, sometimes you have to think quick on your feet. What job is best, the best tool? for the occasion, you know? Dumb son of a bitch. It's faster than letting them blow up manually. With the timer. Okay. So far, so good. Especially to teach me that I can climb and like shimmy. Which, you know, not too bad, not too bad. And cause a bit of mass destruction. Can't go over there just yet. Need a certain clank upgrade. No signal whatsoever! This downtime is killing me! Do you need medical attention, sir? Don't be so literal, son. The problem is I'm stranded on this backwater planet and my star client is nowhere to be found. Hey, we saw you on that info bot. You're Skid's agent. Was Skid's agent. Haven't seen him since our ship crashed. And an agent without a client is like a flea without a dog. Say, you look like an athletic kid. If you can bring back the championship prize from the hoverboard races in Blackwater City, I'll make you my next star. We have no time for trivial matters, sir. Hmm. I could be the next Skid McMarks! Trivial. Clank. It is not trivial. I could be the next Skid McMarks. Right. I'll be back. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. And let's go to Metropolis. The... Fun fact, Metropolis is a level that was on a PlayStation 3 demo disc. So, I initially wanted to get this, this game for my Christmas present from my mother in 2002. But me and my younger brother, we played a PlayStation 2 demo disc that had this level on it. Or like half of this level, something like that. And it was so good that we decided we can't wait for this game. We need it now. So we got in like in October or something like that. Anyways, let's go to Metropolis. Here we are, but like with uh, Clank yawning right there, I'm going to take a little break. By little break, I mean a full day. <laughs> I'll be right back, I promise.
straight back to it. It's almost as if a day has not passed. But anyways, uh, we're continuing onwards with Ratchet and Clank. Again. So I was saying, haha, <laughs> last night, uh, with this, uh, this is the level that made me just go, okay, we're not waiting for it. So, a little bit of a context. Uh, back in the day, uh, the internet was in its early stages, so we didn't really have like, you know, this kind of like access. It was more demo discs. Look at that, we can buy the I blaster. Got great bargains for you today. Yes, I'll buy that. A powerful weapon for a powerful age. Um, to quickly center the camera, just tap the L1 button. Alright, right on. No. Right, um... Ooh. I think I might go that, that path next. Yeah, so I... Uh, we would have seen this on a demo disc. Uh, pretty much, like, trailers for it. The trailers were always on, like, these PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1 demo discs. It was just a faster means of, like, finding out about new titles, you know? New games. And uh, we saw Ratchet and Clank and we were like, yep, we want that, me and my brother, and then we'll kind of like, uh, we'll have it for Christmas. And then, what would you know, there was a demo disc that came along that had this uh, level on it, and we played it and we were like, nah, we need it, we need it now. <laughs> Welcome to the Captain Quirk Fitness Course. If you're strong enough, fast enough, and clever enough to beat my fitness challenge, you will receive a reward from my head trainer. Simply make your way to the third island to complete the course. Good luck! Quirk Enterprises is not responsible for sprains, broken bones, snapped tendons, bruised egos, or accidental death incurred while taking the challenge. Excuse me, Captain, but we have more pressing issues. We urgently need your assistance. Clank? Yes? Do you notice anything unusual about Captain Quark? Well, I find the fact that he has a spring where his leg should be to be quite puzzling. And why do you think that is? Possibly an injury incurred while battling evil? This isn't the real Captain Quark, you numbskull. It's a robot. Oh. Oh. Yes. Can I, talk to, I can talk to the robot Quark more. That's right, fitness fans. Just make it to the third island to claim your reward. And don't forget to tune in this week as I, Captain Quark, appear in person to present the grand prize for the Hoverboard Championship held in Blackwater City. Okay. Quark is going to be at Blackwater City, so we should head over there. Oh yeah, also... When this came out in, in 2002, I was super into Futurama, so, you know, there's that as well. It has that kind of, like, Futurama look with the New York setting. And you can... I don't think he actively told you that, but you can um, bounce from one platform to another. I mean, it's kind of like... You know, like, come on. It's a 3D platformer, you figure out a little bit. Uh, you can just do this. Ooh. Bloody fantastic video game, this one. Every bolt counts. Yeah, I've said it before, I'll say it again, it's a terrible audio mix. <laughs> it's clipping all the mic.
These moving walls also function as jump slots. Jump can jump again to kick off the walls in the air until you reach the top. Yep, I get it. I understand. It's quite the obstacle, of course. Anyways, we're about to meet Helga. All these quick. Yeah, also, the world is full of quirky characters. Which just makes it, you know, fun. Listen up, you lard balls! That was the most pathetic display I have ever seen on that obstacle course! What do you mean? We finished the circuit, ma'am. Oh, yeah, but it is weak. Weak, weak! When I was competing, I would devour courses like that for breakfast. <laughs> that that's not all. If it were up to me, you would drill, drill, drill for the rest of the day. But somehow you managed to impress that fool Captain Quark. Captain Quark knows about us? He certainly does. And worst of all, he wants me to give you a prize for that ridiculous performance. Cool, what is it? I'm supposed to give you a swing shot, so you can sway to and fro like little insects. All right, let's see it. Not so fast. Today, the two of you disgraced my obstacle course, so I am going to make you pay. But that prize is ours from the captain. That's not fair. Too bad. Life's not fair. Oh, see? Everyone's up for themselves. Give me that. Alright, let's pay it. Sweet! I bet Captain Quark uses stuff like this all the time. Ha! Real men can swing without silly toys like that! The two of you make me sick! Congratulations on your new Gadgetron swing shot. Use it on standard Versa targets like the ones nearby. If the target is out of view, use the L1 button to aim. Ah, so he doesn't aim. Yeah, literally that. Oops, daisies. Yeah, you got guns, you got gadgets. You have to hold it. Makes sense? Makes sense. Right. So that was that. Obstacle course done. And then there's um, those over there. But here's the thing about Ratchet and Clank. I could just leave the level right now. Because I got the slingshot, I could go to the other world. I could, but should I... Mm. Yeah, why not? Yeah, see, there's like stuff like that. Bring prize to agent, use slingshot. So I'm just gonna use the slingshot of this uh, planet over here. Right. Oh yeah, you can, um, oh look at that, backpacks, head items, foot items, so there's like stuff to do, things to get, and then all your weapons in this section here. Uh, what 
but it's important to save up your progress. There is like an auto save, but I don't know if it is the actual, you know, like the save. All right, so there is something over there that I need to get. Uh, last the pyro, and you swap between the two previous weapons that you have. Right, okay, got it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Hello. Oh, because I was moving forward, I get it. So far, I've not been hit by anything. Oh yeah, two bombs for these guys. It's so damn loud, this game. Go over here because I didn't have the equipment. What should I do now? Give me everything that there is. Give me it all. Generally curious as to what's... Oh, I think I know what's over there. I think. I think it's like a, a decoder. Which is something that we need. Obviously, it's just a pit of nothing. I think this is the only time you see uh, Ratchet's Lombax feet. They're kind of gross, I have to admit. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think you see his feet at any other point in the series. Apart from this one. Do not worry, you get shoes. Yeah, there we go. Yes! Using the latest in precision laser technology, the Gadgetron Trespasser is guaranteed to work on Gadgetron's line of Infinso lock security doors. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I just know that there's a gold bolt down there. Hey! I didn't say I was getting all of them, but I can get a few that I just know about. Trespasser, slingshot. Yep, makes sense.
Right, so we've got the trespasser that we need for like other parts of the game. Let's go back to the Metropolis City. Wonder if it tells you. Uh, ah, talk to the agent after bringing the race. Yes. I will do that. Yeah, backtracking is encouraged. Like, uh, you'll get different gadgets and stuff like that to, like, um, unlock areas that you couldn't get to uh, originally. Interestingly, like, some of the crates that were there didn't respawn, so it's... okay. Not every crate will respawn, it would seem, so you can't just, like, keep spamming, like, a area. Interestingly enough, when I first got this gun, it didn't show, like, the locker rack up. So, uh... It is now. But yeah, uh, it goes without saying that like, this upscaled, emulated version of Russia Clank 2 for PlayStation 3, on the PlayStation 3, shall I say, because it is a PlayStation 2 game, it's a bit, it's, I, I think it's notoriously known to be a bit, just a little bit glitchy. It's just something that's known about this this port, as it were. I bet if I had some other kind of like helicopter pack or something like that, I could get up there. Scarpered. Look at that bolt. Yeah, with the glitches are concerned, it's mainly just like visual stuff. Like uh, the, the oxygen bar was still on the screen, stuff like that, and I'm pretty sure. Uh, there's something to do with like some cutscenes with the eyes and stuff like that. Sometimes, like, it, they just kind of glitch out a little bit. But this guy spawns in the dogs. That guy right there. The robot dogs. Al's Robo Shark. It totally is Al's Robo Shark. 
Ratchet, that's the man we saw on the Infobot. Remember? He knows Captain Quark. Hey, you're that robot guy, right? No, actually, I build robots. I myself am not a robot guy, per se. <laughs> Nerd. I like him. So, now that we've cleared that up, what can I do for you? Well, we saw your Infobot announcement. You were with Captain Quark. We're trying to find Captain Quark. We thought you could help us. Your logic is commendable. However, I haven't seen Captain Quark since we shot that commercial. Say, do you run on standard XP-18 sister boards? Version 7.66. Back at ya. I may be able to help you out after all. How does a helipack upgrade sound? Upgrade? Natch. Since he's a 766, I could have the little guy up and flying in no time. Of course, uh, I'll just need my fee for service. Yeah, like with Al, it's very evident. Like, he's kind of like... This game was made in a time when widescreen was not um, the norm. It was still all of television sets, and um, they just kind of like stretched everyone out for like um, this port of the game into widescreen, so he's a bit kind of like funky. But anyways, we're going to pay for this helipack. Uh, this, as I said before, this world is basically just all... The entire game world, I mean, it's all just like commercialism and like products and bolts. Okay, this won't hurt a bit. Hey, wait. <coughs> Ratchet, <coughs> am I cool now? <laughs> yeah, you the man, Clank. You're welcome. Yeah, you the man, Clank. I can do this. Try no, using the this. Use jump feature to climb these boxes. Press the R1 button to crouch, then jump. Like that. Fast travel jump. Uh, to be fair, my Gadgetron thing might tell me about it in a bit. You'll need your new helipad yeah, stretch jump feature to cross this gap. While you're running, crouch using the R1 button and then jump. There's a hover as well. I'm pretty certain there's a hover. Yeah, I think she's gonna talk about it right now. I just missed that weapon. No. Try using the glide feature of your new helipad. Jump, and then press and hold the X button in midair to fly. Ooh, slow missiles, huh? I love how with the um, the gun is called the blaster. Blast them. Okay. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Yeah, a lot of people like Ratchet and Clank 2 the best. I like the first one, as I've said. <laughs> right now, and in this uh, first episode. Yeah, come on, bolts. We'll eventually get, like, a magnetizer that increases the, di the distance that bolts, like, come straight to you. Just have to get through the game a bit before we get that. I'm full up on all ammo types. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, I forget. Is this kind of like a... Can I... I'm sure there's a secret over there, but I'm not sure if I can make that. I don't think I can make that distance. No. I don't care about every secret. Really. Oh, 
I am curious though. Ah, oh, well, there you go. Well, actually, no, we could just do this. <laughs> of course, because I have that. Uh, there's a gold ball over there. I don't particularly care, if I'm going to be honest with you. If, if gold bolts give you like a... I mean, it's not going to do it because it's going to break the, the whole economy. I can't say that word. Economy? Of like the game world, if like you get a gold bolt and it gives you like a million bolts, it's not how it works. I get it. It's a special one-off bolt for uh, buying of like super weapons on New Game Plus. That's what gold bolts are for. But what I'm saying is I'm not playing New Game Plus, so I have no real incentive to go get them. The one that I got on the other level was just because it's a bit of fun, and I like getting that one. I have not found all the gold bolts in this game before. Train. Because we're moving, the bullets are arcing as well. Why are they not in this guy? Him. again. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> I jumped when it was um, turning the corner, which and then I started hovering, so I just like I had the momentum of going in that direction. That's kind of like technically the first death. I don't, I don't actually think you can die in these games, you know. There's no lives. There's like health, but um, So he doesn't <coughs> spawn the dogs. The uh, dog spawners spawn the dogs. Uh, he just drops mines like a asshole. Hate him. Hate bombers. Bomber man is okay, I suppose. But like, ooh, that guy dropping mines. Nasty piece of work. Oh look at Infobot. Greetings, Executive Chairman Drek. Dispense with the pleasantries, Lieutenant. My sources tell me you're behind schedule. You must prepare this planet to be harvested for our new world. Yes, sir. As you can see, everything is moving along as planned. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. And as your former commander can tell you, I don't take disappointment well. Yes, sir. I won't fail. Drek is destroying yet another planet. Yeah, but if that's the kind of help he's getting, I don't think we have anything to worry about. You should not underestimate Chairman Drek. He is quite dangerous. We must find Captain Quark. Look, that lieutenant doesn't seem so tough. Let's take him out ourselves. Perhaps we can persuade the lieutenant to tell us where Drek is. Haha, <laughs> now you're talking. Yes, but the robot Quark said he was going to be at Blackwater City for the... On the board contest. Okay, I guess we're going to go. We're going to go to Wood Planet, Wood Cutting Planet. 
Yes, so the vendors as well. <coughs> you can buy I got ammo. Some great bargains for you today. But it's not worth it. Just save up your bolts for the um, the guns. Seriously, it's it's more worth it if you save up for the guns. Yes, quite lovely. That should just about do it. Commander, we are finished with this world. Commence towing our planet to its next destination. Lieutenant! Yes, sir. You have fulfilled your tree quota. Barely. We are ready to return to base. Not so fast, Lieutenant. Just because we don't need any more trees doesn't mean they should have them. Destroy everything. <laughs> Okay, so there's something that I will admit. Uh, Chairman Drek, in the grand scheme of all, like the the villains in the Ratchet and Clank series, like the entirety of it, he is one of the weaker ones. But like, I personally find him like, you know, I find it quite funny. The whole, uh, well, the, like the when you get to the big kind of like stupid conclusion of like, ooh, like this is. Chairman Dr what Chairman Drac is doing. I mean, he's evil, don't get me wrong. He's like, taking out chunks of other people's planets <laughs> and uh, making his own, like, big planet from them. It's a comically stupid kind of, like, premise, but it's a comically stupid kind of game. Uh, in, a, in the best, best way. Uh-oh. I have to use my brain. There we go. In the 2016 reboot one, you have these sections, but you have like this really stupid kind of like, you can just skip them. So it's like, why would you ever want to, like people will just skip them if they have the option to skip it. They're not particularly too taxing of puzzles either. Oh, I don't think I might. Yeah, I figure I had to <coughs> have to do like a running like jumpy jump thing. Uh, So this is all great. You're using your skills and abilities in unison. Although I jumped a bit too soon with that one. Oof. Oh, I should have done the, uh, the jumpy jump, but it's fine. I got there in the end. Just pass it. Game. You sure showed him. I suppose I did. Is your current occupation leaving a rotten taste in your mouth? Then you need to know about BTS, Blog Tactical Research Station. Hi. I'm Supreme Executive Chairman Drek, 
and we here at BTS are seeking motivated individuals to fill positions in these exciting careers. Grind boot tester, warhead assembly technician, mutant animal husbandry, robot repair man, suck cannon test dummy, and administrative assistant. So call BTS. Build our weapons while you build your future. I'm calling BTS today. Now we're talking. Did you see all the cool gadgets they're making? Let's go get some. No, we must continue our search for Captain Quark. You're absolutely right. I am? Sure. We need to find Quark. Although when we find him, wouldn't it be nice to be able to tell him where Chairman Drek is? I suppose. Well, we go to the space station and talk to the scientists. They work for Drek, so they're bound to know where he is. I am unsure about your logic. Ah, you think too much. Come on, let's go. <sighs> Come on, Clank. Stop being square. Have fun. They do have some cool gadgets. That suck cannon and like the um, the grind boots, especially. I think the grind boots are straight up where um, like ratchet is coming from. Hoverboarding, grinding on rails. Ooh, oh, oh, get a bit more expensive. Need a few more. <gasps> Need a few more bolts. Oh, almost. One's enough to get rid of that dude. Oh, there we go. The glove of doom. Right? I didn't yeah. ball. All these weapons, I kind of forget what they all do. Right. I think glove of doom is like little robots that come around you. Should we just use one just to... I'll just use one for the sake of using it. Right, that makes sense. Do you get what I mean when it has this kind of like future army, fu future army, future armor kind of vibe with the music and everything? It's all being cool. And there's. I don't know if we can go one way or the other to get to this place. I think we have to go that way, but we could also go this way and see what's over there. I think this is the way to get back, if I'm honest. Yeah, definitely. It feels like the way to get back. It's the way to get back. Russian Clank has always been known for big guns. Creative guns as well. Right. Robots. Mm, I don't know, maybe there is a point to um point to what? Getting the gold bolts. Different tools for different jobs. They're all weapons destruction. Don't worry about that. My throat is a bit <clears throat> um, stuffy, I suppose. But I'll clear it out a little bit.
efficacy blog. German Drex, evil minions. First time I've been hit. Now I think those health packs give you the nanotech or whatever it's called. I think it gives you four health pack? Maybe it is no, maybe I think it might be just one actually. Come to think about it. <laughs> I sort of just like to smash it with the wrench because uh, it takes a little bit longer if it's, uh, you know, if you just hit the um, hit it for the three second countdown or however long the countdown is for it to explode. Whereas if you just like smash those with a wrench straight away, well, you, you get my drift. Blows it up straight away get the bolts faster. We all like faster bolt again. Actual, you can't throw it against the wall, it has to have an actual thing. Demonic little robots. The lock on is kind of weird, you have to be kind of like. Not in the general area, you just have to be kind of like, look at them dead on for it to lock on. Yeah, so this game was made in a period when games were just like made really, really, really quickly. Um, the Russian Clank trilogy was like one year after another, which is insane that they actually managed to do that. I mean, Jack and Daxter had a little bit of a break um, between the first and second game, and then like uh, the second and the third Jack and Daxter games came out a year apart of each other. But like, it's it's generally kind of like there's a few odd examples. So there's like the Resident Evil 2 remake and the Resident Evil 3 remake. Um, they came out. Pretty much side by side, which was like that is a odd exception to this rule. But like, what I'm getting at is you would not expect um, Uncharted 2 to come out the year after Uncharted 1. It's it's something that is kind of like insane. But like, they managed to do that with the Ratchet and Clanks. They got one out after another year by year. This is big one. Not this. That got rhythm. Boom. Oh, I think it also like depending on like what weapon you have, the ammo boxes might 
um, like direct themselves towards giving you ammo of a certain type depending on like, what you have equipped on you at the time. Maybe. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm just chatting like rubbish. Oh, 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 how's that? I understand why one of the games was called Tools of Destruction, because like, they give you a lot of weapons and gadgets in these games. In the second game, we're going to get a bit deeper into like the weapons and stuff like that, with like them adding like um, ranks and levels. Am I going the right way? I am. Fortunately, my little friend, you can't fly. Godspeed. Or can he? No, he's still over there. Trapped in a purgatory. See that guy. I think the Cliff of Doom is pretty decent on taking these big dudes out. Ah, oh, yeah, got rid of all. I see a suck cannon. Very classic weapon. Sweet! Gadgetron suck cannon can vacuum up multiple enemies, then fire them out as high caliber missiles. Caution, enemies must be small enough to fit inside the barrel. Yeah. It's like a jet engine. Very unique creative weapon. They they can't Hey! Hello, my little friend. How do you get there? They can't... What was the same? It can't suck up bolts, but it can suck up enemies. And then you can just, like, as the radical would suggest, blast them. And that is this level done. Yes. Not too bad, not too shabby. Off to the next world. Oddly comforting about like these uh, levels. Uh, I think I'll do the ship bit last because it's it's kind of like a unique set piece. That ship right there, right in front of us, that you can see. Um, I do believe you have to. Yeah, so that's why you need the trespasser. If I didn't have the trespasser, it would say when I go to over that area, it would go. You need a trespasser to get onto you know like to this area. This light saying, it's an outright hint saying you have to go this way. Well, no, not you have to come back later. That's what it's saying. Anything around the back there? I don't think there is. Nice. 
Hi there, fuzzball. A taunter. Yes. Oh yeah, it attracts enemies to you. Like the ones. The weaker ones. Oh. Actually, I like just forgetting everything about this game. Where does that go? Oh, that goes to the ship, doesn't it? Oh, wait, 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 wait. This one goes aboard the other ship, right? If I just look at this. This show has an autopilot which will take you to a decommissioned large warship. Our scanners indicate that there may be useful technology on board. Yep. I'm sure there is. Let's get the grind boots. Which is this way. If I'm not mistaken. Uh oh, it's getting complicated. So complicated. Oh, a clank. A little clank adventure. With his massive hands. Oh, I'm in space. Why is there gravity in space? You don't get to play this clank too often, and people sometimes usually don't like the clank sections, but I, I do. I, it's, it's got like a nice little different, like, spin, different charm to it. Yeah. Don't hate on the clank sections. Clank sections are good, y'all. Come at me, you creatures! Oh, you got me! What a damn shame! Lost one health, that's all. It's not much. Need to be careful. On the spacewalk. I'm always just extra cautious on the, like these kind of things where you can easily just fall. Gold bolt is right up there, but. As I was saying before. Something good if you like that kind of thing for me. I don't really... It, it doesn't bother me too much to go for those kind of things. But hey, if you want to go for it, go for it. It's a bigger one. Yeah, I believe those health things to give you one. You have just activated a Gadgetbot. To command a Gadgetbot, hold down the triangle button and select wait, follow, attack, or enter. Well. Attack! Yes. Gacha bots. Roll out. And they, just, they respawn at these areas if they die. 
So you could go enter, you could go wait, follow, attack. Simple commands. They get expanded on in the uh, sequels a little bit, I believe. Yeah, you can do like more complex things later on. Right, got this. Well, actually, let's just get those. <laughs> the Gadgetron Hydro Displacer uses Insta faucets and Insta drains. Using it, you can drain and fill pools. Our sensors do not detect any on this space station. Oh yeah, Clank is the man. Nah, he is. He's a true hero. I'm back. So you are. And I found this. Hey, cool. It's a, uh, uh, what is it? A hydro displacer. Great. I always wanted one of those, I guess. Did you know you can place any gadget or weapon on your Quixel? Yes. I can quick select things onto my menu. My weapon wheel. Right, so that's that. Uh, we're going to do the, war the Blargian warship later. First of all, we're going down here. Dudes. Suck. Oh. Away. Alright. a bit of damage to me. Oh, right, I see. Need a little help with these enemies? Try your taunter. So they would typically have like a flamethrower thing. I can just show you, actually. Instead of like talking about well I can talk about it and show you at the same time. So they have a flamethrower. That you just jump over. Like that. It's a simple flame. But if I just use a taunter, it makes them go a bit crazy. Is it one? It's one, right. Bumper thing. Uh, what's in there? Let's find out. Nice. Oh, nice. Lots of stuff. It's my lucky day. Ah. 
I'll destroy those. Avoid poisonous gas, it's not good for your body. Trust me. It's very hazardous to your body, actually. the sub cannon. It's funny though. Suck. Whoa. And I do get bolts from like sucking them up. And something just exploded somewhere. Is that gonna hit me? Ah, the suck cannon. Look, look, the uh, the graphics on the side of the screen there. Almost as if it wasn't meant to. Uh... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. of the Blogian space station. It's a gold bolt in there. It's a... Uh, why not? I noticed these little like antennas as well. Very interesting. I wonder what they could be. Could it be like a little mouse guy in there or something like that? Hmm. You know what? I think that was something that exploded. to blow. Oh! 
kind of annoyed them to jump off the edge. Didn't know you could do that. With the taunter. Why did he throw that way? Oh, this looks like a boss. It's because it is. Oh shit, no. up with tactics, huh? Inside, Whew. thought I was a goner this time. Some nano wit in genetics must have left the cages open again. You could come down now, honestly. A gadget engineer deserves a bit more respect, if you ask me. So, you are an inventor. Gadget Engineer. I create revolutionary devices for Executive Chairman Drek. For instance, Viola. My soon-to-be-patented Grind Boots. Look, I, I, I need to get out of here so I can find a new job. How about I sell you these? At cost. Sell? After we just saved your scrawny butt? All right, all right. I'll give you the employee discount, too. Well, thanks. I'm gonna get out of here while I still can. You've got the grind boots. Grind boots let you travel on rails like this. Just jump onto the rail and grind. Yeah, but first we have to actually equip it, don't we? There we go. Boots. Uh, I have to admit, it actually looks strange without boots. It looks very strange indeed. We don't need to go on there because we bought the boots. Now let's grind! Woo! Radical dude! I can grind upwards. I don't know how that works, but whatever. You can hit, you can jump! And you can, if there's multiple uh, rails, you can jump from rail to rail. There we go. Now I'm going to call it for now. Uh, next time we'll be going to that blog warship over there and uh, continue on to the next uh, whatever's next. But anyways, if you did enjoy the beginning, the beginning here of Ratchet and Clank, uh, please do like and subscribe to the channel, and I shall be back next time with more of Ratchet and Clank. All right, until the next one. Bye.